Day 30 The Queen of Heaven in the Kingdom of the Divine Will The Teacher of the Apostles Central Place of the Nascent Church And Boat of Refuge The Descent of the Holy Spirit The Soul to Her Celestial Mother Here I come to you again, Sovereign of Heaven. I feel so drawn to you that I can count the minutes waiting for your supreme height to call me in order to give me the beautiful surprises of your maternal lessons. Your love of mother enraptures me, and in knowing that you love me, my heart rejoices, and I feel all the confidence that my mama will give me so much love, so much grace, as to form the sweet enchantment to my human will in such a way that the divine will may extend its seas of light within my soul and place the seal of its fiat in all my acts. Oh, please, O oh Holy Mama, never let me alone again and let the Holy Spirit descend into me that he may burn away all that does not belong to the divine will. Lesson of the Queen of Heaven My blessed daughter, your words echo in my heart, and feeling wounded, I pour myself into you with my seas of grace. Oh, how they run toward my daughter to give you the life of the divine will. If you are faithful to me, I will leave you no more. I will always be with you to give you the food of the divine will in each one of your acts, words, and heartbeats. Now, listen to me, my daughter. Our highest good, Jesus, has departed for heaven and is now before his celestial Father, pleading for his children and brothers whom he has left upon earth. He, from the celestial fatherland, looks at everyone. No one escapes him, and his love is so great that he leaves his mama on earth as comfort, help, and instruction and company for his children and mine. Now you must know that as my son departed for heaven, I remained together with the apostles in the cenacle awaiting for the Holy Spirit. They were all around me, clinging to me, and we prayed together. They did nothing without my advice, and when I began to speak, to instruct them, or to narrate some antidote about my son, which they did not know, as, for example, the details of his birth, his baby tears, his loving traits, the incidents that happened in Egypt, the so many wonders of the hidden life in Nazareth. I, oh, how attentive they were in listening to me. They were enraptured in hearing the so many surprises, that so many teachings that he had given me, which were to serve for them. In fact, my son had said little or nothing about himself to the apostles, reserving for me the task of making known to them how much he had loved them and the details which only his mama knew. So, my daughter, I was in the midst of my apostles more than the sun of the day, and I was the anchor, the wheel, the boat in which they found refuge, to be safe and sheltered from every danger. Therefore, I can say that I delivered the nascent church upon my maternal knees, and that my arms were the boat in which I led before her to a safe harbor, and I still lead her. Then the time came for the descent of the Holy Spirit, promised by my son in the cenacle. What a transformation! 
my daughter. As they were invested, they acquired new science, invincible strength, ardent love, and a new life flowed within them, which rendered them intrepid and courageous in such a way that they scattered throughout the world to make redemption known and to lay down their lives for their master. And I remained with beloved John and was formed to leave Jerusalem. My dearest daughter, you must know that I still continue my magisterium in the church. There's nothing which does not descend from me. I can say I pour my own self and for love of my children, and I nourish them with my maternal milk. Now, during these times, I want to display a yet more special love by making known how my whole life was formed in the kingdom of the divine will. Therefore, I call you onto my knees, into my maternal arms, so that, forming a boat for you, you may be sure to live in the sea of the divine will. Greater grace I could not give you. Oh, please, I pray you, make your mama content. Come to live in the kingdom so holy, and when you see that your will would want to have some act of life, Come and take refuge in the safe boat of my arms, saying to me, My mama, my will wants to betray me, and I deliver it to you, that you may put the divine will in its place. Oh, how happy I will be if I am able to say, My daughter's all mine, because she lives of divine will and I will make the Holy Spirit descend into your soul that he may burn away from you all that is human and by his refreshing breath he may rule over you and confirm you in the divine will. The soul, divine teacher, today your little daughter feels her heart swollen to the point of pouring myself out in crying and wetting your maternal hands with my tears. A veil of sadness invades me, and I fear that I will not profit from your many teachings and from your many more than maternal cares. My mama, help me. Fortify my weakness. Put to flight my fears. And I, abandoning myself in your arms, will be certain to live fully of the divine will. Little sacrifice, today to honor me you will recite seven glory bees in honor of the Holy Spirit, praying to me that his prodigies may be renewed over the whole holy church. Prayer, Celestial Mama, pour fire and flames into my heart that they may consume me and burn away all that is not will of God.